come to you can use. Today we have news that a man who knifed bus passenger to death in uncontrolled and vicious step being forced earring at him tear for life. Karen Galapi at opposite opposite the own battery on the bus and some boats were exchanged before an accumulant equipped. Kenya Kips was sentenced to life in prisoner and must serve a mini of 26 years before he can be considered for release. A man who stabbed a fellow passenger to death for staring at him on the top deck of a bus has been jailed for life. Karen Kalipchi launched a frenzy attack on a Leon button husband in what police have described as a meaningless killing by the really dangerous and unstable individual. The 26-year-old behind man has been jailed for a minute of 26 years for the stabbing Mr. Bentrich numerous time on the top day of the NO11 bus in Hendros on January 23rd. Birmingham crowd court heard of how Caleb's P and 35 year old with Baron's Hansel from the same week were complete strangers. Caleb P from Hendros Willing Burns Road had got on the bus pretty well and went upstairs where Mr. Hanzo was already sat. Gallopi at opposite and some words were exchanged before Gallopi moved it to sit to row behind him. During the trial, it emerged and that a human began to wear Kalipi accused the victim for staring at him. Gina was told that Mr. Bate has all punched Kalips in the face before the, def the defendant pulled a knife from a bag and stabbed him several times, one of the wood, severing a major artery in his neck. The big hemmed mail reports. The tape was captured on CCTV cameras installed on the bus. Yes. Camera also captured the moment clip walked off the bus where the other passenger ran to the Mr. and Ed and alerted the driver. They also caught the moment when Clips walked back into the bus to retry his baseball but before calmly walking away once more. Despite emergency CPR given to the victim at the scene, he typically dead from his injury and a postman revealed in a photo step would was to his neck. Police launch a major man Hunt and released CCTV images of Philip who had been caught on CCTV installed on the bus. As a result, Philip was quickly identified and on January 25 handed himself into police. Philip was sentenced to lie in prison and must serve many of 26 before he can be considered for release. Detective Inspector went from the force Hamoside team said this was a completely mindless killing of a man who had done nothing out of the ordinary for the ferocity of the attack, coupled with Clip's natural talent actions in the immediately aftermath for particular troubling aspect of this case. My my Abiding hope is that Leon's family found some small comfort in today's convictions and, and that the people of 
Birmingham will resume that a really dangerous, unstable individual is off the street. Ebon's family paid tribute to him by saying they had been left devastated by the loss of a wonderful world, warm, kind, generous of heart, and much loved family man. Thank you very much for this new. I hope that you enjoyed this new. Please don't forget to subscribe and share to get more news. Thank you.